Hi, I'm Liam, and today I'm going to be reading to you about Mario Lemieux. If you don't know who he is, he was a really good hockey player who played for the Pens. Never Mario Lemieux is on the ice, he, he threatens to dominate the game, playing against the the New Jersey Devils on New on New Year's Eve in 1988. Mario put on a show that that will never be forgotten. He scored five goals and added three assists for eight points, becoming the first player in NHL history to score five goals in five different ways. Hockey often becomes a way of life for Canadian youngsters. Many boys learn to skate as soon as they can walk, and, th and they practice the sport any chance they get. Mario Lemieux, like the, young, like the youngster here, played in, in leagues all the time while growing up. Here comes Super Mario. Mario? Uh, uh, You're talking about Super Mario, right? No, that's the wrong Mario. Oh. I'm talking about a hockey player. Oh, my bad. Anyway, Mario was an outstanding hockey player at, at an early age. By the time he was playing with Lava in junior hockey, Above all, in junior hockey, his bedroom had his his bedroom at home had taken one uh, the look of a real trophy room. Here, here, young Mario shows off some of his hardware he had already won, and it was only the beginning. Is it my turn yet? No. Oh, okay. It's time to go, bro. A smile, a smiling Mario dons the jer the jerseys of the Pittsburgh Penguins for the first time after singing with the National Hockey League club club in 1984, standing with his son, soon to be famous son, in Gene Guy Lemieux, Mario's father. Uh, it said a smiling Mario. <laughs> A happy Mario celebrates his first National Hockey League goal. It came against the Boston Bruins at the outset of the eight, 1984 and 1985 season. There would be many more moments like this for the, for the big center, who would soon be called an all-time great. I know another Mario that's an all-time great. You? I'm guessing. It's a me, a Mario. Mario showed his his great talent once again at the 1988 NHL All Star Game. Not only did he score two goals and add three assists in regular in regular play, but it but it was um it was goal goal in sudden death over time that gave his team a 6 to 5 victory. Ne needless to say, Mario was named the the game's most valuable player. Mario was was the toast of the town after a brilliant 1987 and 1988 season. He added to his collection of hardware when he when he won the Hart Trophy as the NHL Most Valuable Player, as well as the Art Ross Trophy for winning the league scoring title. He, he had 70 goals and 98 assists for 168 points. It was at this point in the season that the story first broke in the newspaper. It came 
a surprise to everyone. Lemieux had been playing all year with a bad back. He had to herniate. He, he had herniated disc, and he told the press there there was a good chance he would need surgery after the season. But now suddenly the pain was getting worse. The question was whether he was whether he could keep playing. He tried it with a back brace. We sometimes have to adjust the brace after a couple of shifts, he said. But it, but I want to keep playing. I think it's better for me to keep playing. I feel I feel I can still go out and help help the team, especially on the power play. Once I once I can't do that anymore, then then we'll see about getting a little rest. Two games later, Lemieux just couldn't take the pain anymore. It looked as if he would be out the remainder of the regular season. Without Super Mario, the team didn't have a little have a, that little extra. They finished at 32-48 and fit, and in fifth place. No playoffs. Lemieux played one game at the end of the year he, and managed three more points. In 59 games, he had 40... 45 goals and and 78 assists for 123 points. That was good enough for fourth for fourth place in scoring. He was still facing surgery on his back, a scary prospect for a young player. A bad back can easily end a player's career. Hockey is always an all-out hard sport. Players returning from injuries don't have it any easier. Mario knew that he would have to be ready to hit to to be ready to hit and be hit. Despite his back his bad back, here he here he looks up at the t looks up ice after making a pass against the Edmund Allers. Wow, and that Mario sounds like he's got a lot of resiliency and strength. Just like another Mario I know. Hey, yeah. eh? What are you doing? I thought this book was about me, but I see it's about a very special Mario. Yeah, it's about a hockey player, not a video game. It's every hockey player's dream to hold the Stanley Cup, the trophy given to the NHL champion, champion of every year. When the Penguins won the Cup in 1991, the city of Pittsburgh went wild, and all the players wanted a chance to pose with the ancient and revealed trophy. Here, Mario and, and teammate Paul Coffey takes turns ho hosting the Cup. It seems as if only thing that can the only thing that can stop Mario Lemieux is his back. Although he recovered from surgery to lead the Penguins to st to the Stanley Cup, Mario still has periods when back pains keep him out of the lineup. Wow, Liam, that was a great story. Thank you for reading to us. Well, that's it. Bye.